we want to write an identity that expresses the cotangent function in terms of the sine function. So the only rule I can think of right off the bat that I remember is 1 plus the cotangent squared of x equals cosecant squared of x. So if we want to get this in terms of a sine function, that means we're going to do what? Well, we need to get the cotangent by itself. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, and that's going to give me the cotangent squared of x equals the cosecant squared of x minus 1. Well, what do we know about cosecant? Well, I know that that's 1 over the sine of x, and now that whole thing's going to be squared minus 1. Well, that's equal to the cotangent squared of x, but it wants it just in the cotangent function. So what does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to have to take the square root of both sides. So I've got the square root of something squared equals, and then I'm going to have the square root of 1 over sine x squared minus 1. So I'm left solely with cotangent of x on the left, which is what we want. So, so far, so good. Now, we did take the square root. What is it that I left out? That's right, you have to take the plus and the minus. So we need to take the plus and the minus when we're down here. And I'm going to simplify anything I can under the radical. So 1 squared is 1, and then I'm going to have sine squared x minus 1. So the identity that we have found is this one right here, and that's your final answer.